today we will discuss control hazard and its solution so control hazard occurs because of branch instruction branch hazard occurs because of the branch instruction let's say we are having some program in which a set of instructions are there we put the branch instruction the branch instruction is this one branch equal to r1 r2 thousand which means if r1 is equal to r2 then it will jump to 1000 memory location otherwise it will execute on the next to branch instruction so this part you can say the before branch this part is called false through and this part is called target okay so now so when we are getting the branch instruction okay when we are getting the branch instruction the pc can be PC plus 4 or it can be the target address. So, PC can be PC plus 4 or PC plus 4 plus immediate value. Immediate value is here 1000. So, depends upon the whether R1 is equal to R2 or not. Okay. If R1 is not equal to R2, then PC is equal to PC plus 4, which means branch not taken. If P R1 is equal to R2, then we will jump to 1000. So, PC is equal to what? PC plus 4 plus immediate. That is called branch taken. So, the, so here the education will start from branch not taken, means from false through. If branch taken, the education will start from the target part. Solutions to the control hazard. So, there is four solution. First one the plus pipeline, one gets stalling. Second is predict branch not taken. Predict branch ticket, last there is a delay slot. So, first, cross pipeline or you can say stalling. So, these are the examples R, R1, R2, R3, branch equal to R4, R5000, subtract R6, R7, R8, and there is some instruction and the target part instruction is there multiply R9, R10, R11, some instructions. If so, when you will draw the type is diagram at first clock cycle, the first instruction goes to the IM, second clock cycle, it goes to IT, the branch instruction entered into the IF stage, at third instruction, first instruction will go to execute, this branch equal to instruction goes to the IT stage. Now, one point. So, whether branch will take it or not take it, we will get at the IT stage. Branch take it or not take it. Take it or not take it. This information will get at which stage? ID stage. Okay. So that means at ID stage we will know that whether branch will happen or not. So when at third clock cycle Branch instruction enters to the IT stage, subtract instruction will enter into IF stage. Okay. Now, next, in fourth clock cycle, this one will go to memory, this one will go enter into the execute. Now, when it completes with the IT stage, at that time, we know that whether branch will be taken or not taken. Let's say, R4 is equal to R5. Let's say R4 is equal to R5. Then what will happen? Then after this instruction, we will, we will start the education from this. Yes or no? So, but already this subtract in instruction enters into the pipeline. It is already in the IF stage. So, that means we have to plus this instruction. Or we can remove this instruction from the pipeline so that this instruction will enter into the IF stage at what? At fourth clock cycle. Okay, that means after the IT stage, at the IT stage of the branch instruction, we get to know that whether branch will happen or not, whether the test, this equality test, performs at the IT stage. Okay. So, these things 
after the IG stage, we will get to know. So that means after the IG stage, we will know that whether PC is equal to PC plus 4 or PC is equal to PC plus 4 plus immediate theory. So now we will say R4 is equal to R5. That means after the branch is structured, we will have to execute multiply. But in, in, in between that, subtract already inserted into the pipeline. So we have to plus that instruction. Okay. So, at 5th clock cycle, this will be right back, this will be memory, this will be this sub multiply instruction will enter into the ID stage, 6 right back, this will enter into the AGQ, dot dot dot. Okay. So, that means, so if branch taken or not taken, according to that, we are crossing the pipeline. According to the condition checking, we are crossing the pipeline. So that means at third clock cycle, we are executing uh, IF test for the subtract instruction. Okay. If R4 is equal to R5, then again at fourth clock cycle, we are doing IF stage. That means IF stage we are doing both the time. At, at clock cycle 3, at clock cycle 4. So that's why we are calling this as performing if twice. Performing if twice. Because at third clock cycle, we are executing IF stage. At fourth clock cycle, we are executing IF stage. Okay. So this is called cross pipeline or stop. So here you can say because of the branch instruction, we are getting what? Stop. Now, go to the second solution. Predict branch not taken. Predict branch not taken. So prediction is what? So here we are predicting that the branch will not take it. That means we will execute from the false group or again the next instruction of the branch instruction. Okay. So we are predicting that. But the actual information we will get to know that at ID stage. Okay. So say at the uh, first clock cycle, it will enter into the IF, second ID. It will enter into IF stage, third, execute, it will enter into IG stage, now this will enter into the IF stage. We are predicting that branch will be not taken. That means, we are assuming branch will not taken, so subtract instruction will enter into the pipeline. Let's say, R4 not equal to R5. R4 not equal to R5. That means our prediction is correct. Our prediction is correct. So, there is no need for the one stop. There is no need for the one stop. So, for memory, DS, ID, fifth, write back, memory, execute, write back, at sixth clock cycle. Okay. If, so there is a 44-47% of chances that branch not taken. That means our prediction will be correct. The chances of that is 47 percent. Okay. So there is no stall. Okay. There is no stall if our prediction is correct. Remember, no stall if prediction is correct. Okay. So for which case? Branch not taken. Predict branch for not taken. Most all if your prediction is correct. Now come to the third solution. Prediction branch taken. So this is so this solution does not improve the performance because 
we are predicting that ramp is not taken. So, see the example. First instruction IF, second ID. This will enter into IF, third execute ID. So, now we are predicting that branch not taken. So, we will not insert this instruction. We will not insert this instruction. So, so this instruction will insert. So, at when we will get. So, at the after the decode, because this address part will read at the decode stage. The equality test that whether R4 is equal to R5 or not, and also the immediate value will read at the ID stage. So, that means after the ID stage, so we will read whether this will execute or not. That means here will be stop. Okay, here will be stop. At fourth clock cycle, memory. Yes, this IF, so IF can be this or can be this. That means this taking always one stop. So that's why no improvement in performance. No improvement in performance. Okay. So this is your Third type of solution, predict branch taken.